Bienvenidos, Hushamdi, and welcome to this HUD8 networking tutorial on how to upgrade the ROMMON firmware on a Cisco 5506X. Specifically, we're going to be taking a look at how we would upgrade the firmware from the current version to version 1.1.15. Now, you might be asking yourself, why would I be showing you how to upgrade the ROMMON firmware on a 5506X. Well, it just so happens that recently there was a high Cisco security advisory published regarding a secure boot hardware tampering vulnerability. So here is the CSC information on the different bugs. You can see it was last updated just this past week, first published back in May of 2019. But again, just updated on 21 August 2019. Now, in the environment in which I work on a day-to-day -day basis, we have a couple 5506Xs, and I actually happen to have procured one off of eBay. And so I figured, great opportunity here to perform this, capture the steps that are taken, and show you exactly what has to be done. Now, you'll notice that it's not just the 5506X that's impacted by this high security advisory. The 5508X, the 5516X, and a series of firepower devices are impacted. Now, we are definitely interested in the 5506X, and this should answer your question as to why I'm upgrading to 1115. Now, you're gonna need a CCO ID and an entitlement to get to this firmware download. However, if you or your company currently own it and you have a SmartNet contract, you should be able to access this firmware release. So I've already downloaded it. You can TFTP it onto your device, or what I love about the 5506Xs is that the USB port actually functions. Unlike the Cisco 5505 series firewall that had multiple USB ports on it that Cisco never enabled. So I've got a USB stick in the 5506X. Let's jump over to the command line here. And here we are. And so let's get into privilege exec mode, ABC123. So the question is, well, how do you see what version of firmware you're currently running? You could have 1115. And it's as simple as saying, show module. And what we're looking for is right down here, we've got our hardware version and there, is the firmware version we're looking for. You can see that I'm currently running 99236 for the ASA operating system here, but the firmware version is 118. So we want to get the new ROMMON version copied into the ASA flash. Now, again, what I could do is I could TFTP this if you have it on the network. Maybe you don't have physical access to your 5506X, uh, and so you can't get in there with a USB stick and make that happen. So you can go ahead and TFTP it. Now let me list, list out the USB stick uh, software here, and we're looking for 115. Boy, there's all kinds of junk on here. And let me see if I can find it. And here it is. There's the dot file. So now I just need to find the non dot file. And I'm probably looking there. It is right there. So there is the file that we're looking for. So I'm going to copy that. And here's what we're going to say. We're basically just going to go ahead and copy it from disk one. And that's the file. And we're going to copy it to disk zero. And again, disk zero is the name of flash on the ASA. So now when I say dir, you can see here it's going to list out disk zero. And here is that firmware upgrade. So once you've got the firmware file in flash, we're going to be running a single command here. And the command is simply upgrade ROMMON disk zero colon and the name of our file. Now, very important to note that when you're upgrading to version 115, Cisco has a note that says it takes twice as long to upgrade 
one one I'm sorry, one one fifteen, not one one five, to one one fifteen, it says it's gonna take about twice as long. And so I'm not gonna hold this here. I'm gonna pause after we kick this off and we see the output that's going to come onto the screen. And then I'm gonna come back once it's all done, once it's ready for me to go ahead and reload the device. So let's hit enter. You can see here that we see some information about the hash. And now it says proceed with reload. I'm gonna say absolutely. And let's go ahead and hit enter. So the device is gonna go down. I'm gonna let this run for a couple of seconds here before we kick in a pause and allow this to perform the steps it's going to perform. And then I'm gonna bring us back once the device is back up and operational. All right, so we're consoled in here. There we go, performing the upgrade on ROM monitor. And let me go ahead now and just pause this while it's gonna go through the series of reboots that it's going to do. And I'll bring us back once this is all done. All right, so we're back and it did not take that long. It literally, uh, we started off at 7.52. And so here we are 15 minutes later and so we're back. So it took about 15 minutes. So let's go ahead and check and see, ABC123, let's see what version of the firmware we're currently running. And there you have it. We're now at version 1.1.15. And so it's that simple. You acquire the firmware at the Cisco site, make sure you have an entitlement, you get it into the flash on your ASA 5506X, and then you run one command, which is upgrade ROMMON disk zero colon, and then the name of the ROMMON firmware file. All right, so to avoid this high security advisory, this is the recommendation. I wish you the best of luck, as you can see. Very straightforward, very simple. Hopefully this is gonna help you out, and that's all I've got. I hope you enjoyed the tutorial, and enjoy the rest of your weekend.